Hey everybody, it's Brad from bradthepainter.com, right there on the iPad. And uh, I today I am going to show you about these uh, ceiling tree knots and, and why, they, why these things bleed through. You can see this uh, bookcase I picked up on the street, somebody was throwing it out, and I just uh, grabbed it and I could see right away why they threw it out. It's because they painted it. And they came up, you know, these, these tree knots, these are limbs. These are where the tree limb joins the pine. This is obviously pine from the, from the knots. The knotty pine, as they say up in Boston, yeah. Uh, tree knots bleed right through any kind of latex or any kind of primer that's not a stain blocking primer. So I have some stain blocking primer. This is a, uh, this is alcohol based bin. There's two kinds of uh, kills. I think kills and bin both make a shellac alcohol-based stain blocking primer. There are many stain blocking primers that are not shellac based, which means alcohol based. And if you're wondering, well, what, what is that? What is that shellac base? It's just nothing but alcohol. And this is what I use to clean up, just rubbing alcohol from the drugstore. So this is a combination of those great stain blocking solids, which is the, the the active ingredient, so to speak, and then alcohol and various other vehicles that these chemists figure out are the best thing for their paint. So I bought a gallon of bin alcohol, and I'll link to these, I'll, I'll link this uh, video, back, and I'll link you to a post where you can just see what, the difference. But there's two kinds of, uh, what, what do they call, stain blocking primer. There's the water base, which will not work here. It, you can put a water-based stain blocking primer over these knots and it'll be a fine for a year. And then after about a year or two years, that will come through again because you didn't use the real thing. You've got to use the shellac, okay? And that's really the end of this video. If you want to click away, go ahead. But I want to show you the ultra cheap way of doing this. Obviously, you can buy a, you know, throwaway brush. And believe me, whatever brush you're going to use, you're going to throw away because there's no cleaning these. There's no cleaning after this. Wear very old clothes. You're going to throw away if you spell... And if you wear your good glasses and you uh, splatter onto your glasses, you're going to have a hell, hell of a time uh, getting them off. And it will not come off clothes. It's, it's the real thing, as I said. Um, uh, here's the ultra cheap way of doing it. I'm not doing anything else today. I'm, it's the weekend. I'm doing something else. But I do want to uh, seal these knots before I give this a fresh coat of whatever paint, any, any kind of paint. And so... And to show you the sort of ultra cheap way, I gave this uh, I gave this stain a little this, this primer a little shake before, and obviously you can see there is uh, all the solids are at the bottom. This was in my cabinet for some years. What I did was I bought a gallon and three quart empty quart cans because this stuff is it clogs up so fast. It's so it's so nasty. I can hardly breathe. Actually, right? normally I would have a respirator on. So I'll show you, like I can go down where you start to see the solids. And if I go all the way down, you see the real solids. And that's what we want to put on our knots. If I shook this really well, I could exhaust myself and I would get it. Yes, I could do that. But there's another way. And again, I'm just doing a few knots. So what I do is I put on a cheap rubber glove and I use some old rag. And what I like to use is a pot, an old, this is from some old pajamas. And I just like a pocket because you can sort of grab it and voila, there's your brush. So what I like to do is reach in, get some solids, put it on my brush and paint. And that's all you need to do. That knot will disappear forever. And, you know, I don't like throwing away a paint brush. It's, it's nothing but plastic. There's a little bit of metal in there, but you know, it's just such a drag to see it go into a, a landfill. And in this way, I've got a, a, just an old rag. Oh, now I got paint on my finger. Great. Did not want to do that. I'm not being careful because I'm talking. And you can see that I've got some, I've got a little of the brown uh, sort of, uh, I guess you can call that the vehicle. Um, it's al alcohol most, mostly. And, uh, you can see as it hits the, as it hits my cloth, and I just kind of give it a, you know, mix up. It really doesn't matter. I, I, I have verified this by, by uh, experimentation, you know, over the years. 
I know that this works. So that's the end of the video. You can stay around if you want to watch me do the rest. And I'm sure I'll tell some funny joke. <laughs> but go ahead. And, uh, if you want to buy this, I have a link. Uh, again, just the main thing is be careful between the alcohol-based and the water-based stained killing primer. They are not the same. You want the alcohol base. You want the good stuff, stinky stuff. You should definitely be wearing a respirator when doing this. Again, I'm not, I'm not wearing a respirator because I'm talking. I'm not going to be, you know, that's no good. And uh, I'm done, actually. So is on this side. And now I'll just hit this with a coat of um, latex or you know, some, probably some glossy, some glossy paint. I don't know what I will put on there. I don't really care. And, you know, for free, I'm pretty happy. That's it. And you can see that this very thin coat of, of um, kills or men or whatever it is, the, the shellac, basically what, what I'm using here is a shellac. It is a white pigmented shellac. And you can see that um, the, the coat I'm giving it is very thin and that's enough. And this is nasty, p naughty pine, as they say. And uh, I'm done. Now, um, the cleanup begins. And I just seal that up. I don't have any paint on my finger. It didn't break. And this is a cheap, this is not even a surgical glove. This is a super cheap glove. All I do is I take my rubbing alcohol and I rub. And you can see, if you get it right away, it comes right off. I should have put a real glove on this hand. What was I thinking? I was thinking, I'm a star of YouTube. But anyway, that's the end of the video. I hope you have good luck with your stain killing primer. And uh, I'll link to some product that, in fact, even on the post, I'll link to some product that uh, is what I'm using. There are two that I rely on, bin and kills. And it's just the nastiest stuff you can think of, but uh, okay, that's it. Good luck. Thank you.